at first I wasn't going to make this video, but there's some clarity that I want to make sure that there is uh, present in everything that I say. Big Will said a lot of things, and one of the comments is, I don't get, um, I don't get it, shit was fucked up, um, but we all in the same boat now. White people ain't the enemy, it's the government. They separate us and divide, uh, divide wedges. He also said that if white people were speaking about separate, separating in the same form, format that I am, then they would be labeled a racist. That is not my problem. Because white people aren't the ones that are being killed by police. Is it the government or is it the police? No matter how many times we talk about defunding the police or we can talk about retraining the police, white supremacy is embedded in our system. Not just our government system, but our cultural system, our monetary system, our economic system. I am not a separate, separate is by choice. It is not my choice for people to be separated based on their color. It is the world that I was born into. And the only way I see to change that world is through a show of strength. See, right now we're all just fingers, trembling fingers. We have to become a clenched fist. Because this governmental system, this racist system that we dwell in around the world, They don't understand peace. They don't understand voting. They don't understand protests. What they understand is violence and economics. Now what I propose is an economic fight. Just as when Japan lost in World War II, they said that World War II is not over, but they decided to fight an economic fight, which is why Japan rose out of World War II and became an economic power in the world. That is the only thing that this system understands, that those who run this system understand. And as far as white people, the average white person might be a good person, but they benefit from the system. They dwell within the system. And because they do so, they have no real need to change the system. They might be upset when they see black people person a black person get murdered by the cop like the black woman who was pregnant got shot in the back several times they may be upset they may say oh my god i can't believe that happened that shouldn't happen but are they truly lifting a finger other than their disgust are they truly going in to try to make any changes no they're not change of an oppressed people can only occur if the oppressed people stand up and take their lives into their own hands and stop hanging on to the mental and physical shackles and cultural shackles of this world. It's as simple as that. 